Okay, so during the corona pandemic, like a lot of lectures have been published to the internet. And this really is a gold mine for someone like me who just want to learn a lot. Even if I don't get a certificate that I have gone the course, I think that with the viewpoint, what is most important is that I learn something. This is really a great opportunity. So today it is, let's see, uh, the 13th of March. I will try to watch a course that I have downloaded and I have downloaded so many courses. It's insane. Um, and now I just have such an urge to look through them because when you study a course at the university, it's always a big span of time, like eight weeks or nine even. And what I found when I downloaded these lectures is that with some cool tools, you can actually watch a course in just a day. And what would that make? Uh, and my thoughts are that how will this affect the learning experience? And is it even a feasible way to learn stuff? It can be a bit hard to know. So I'm going to make these videos to uh, document my experience. To get into more detail, what I have done is that I've uh, scraped through every course I could find uh, at a university, downloaded like every lecture video I could find. So I have at least one terabyte. <laughs> of video material to go through um, and this is where I start. But I wouldn't necessarily think that this would be a pleasant experience if I didn't have the tools that I have. I got inspired by, um, what's his name, uh, Carthy KH, I think, that made a auto uh, editing software for uh, lectures that takes away all the quiet parts. And with this tool, you can reduce the time of each lecture by, it differs, but at least a fourth of the time uh, can get edited away from the lectures. And if you combine that with a higher play speed, you can really shorten it down. So for example, if I have a course that is 28 hours long, I can put it through the auto editor and get it down to something like 22. And then uh, if I play it at, I, I won't go, go further than two times the speed, but it works. And then it's just 11 hours left. And that's like, I mean, that's not impossible to do in one, one day, but I think it will one's mind and ability to learn um, so this is why I do these for you that are watching. I will try to as much notes as I can during the lectures because I, I still think there's a high possibility that I will get tired even though it's a great density uh, of information and uh, I will probably just have time to write down the things most important instead. And those things I think that I write down, those things I think are very important and will stay important to me in my mind and I will remember them better. Yes, let's get started, I think. Okay, for some facts, this is a course in urban metabolism and resources. From the beginning, the source material is consists of seven hours and 27 minutes of material. When shortened, it is six hours and 15 minutes and played at two times the speed. It gives a result of three hours and eight minutes. That is a whole 58% time reduction. I've prepared with some sandwiches and my headphones will guide me through this lecture. Wish me luck. Okay, still 
daylight outside and I'm done with the course. So some thoughts um, from my experience. It was a bit hard at the start to comprehend what they said when it was at two times the speed. But after a while you get used to it. And even at some parts where I knew a little bit more, I put on even more than two times the speed and it still worked. But I can say that I have a small headache now <laughs> and uh, well, I guess it's to be expected. But I totally recommend, even though this was just three hours of lectures, when I sped it up this much, I recommend that you take a break and take some sandwiches or food because your brain is like the biggest consumer uh, of nutrients in your body and you really activate your brain when doing this so have some food ready. The course um, had 12 lectures I think but they, it was more of a project course and the lectures were more introductions to concepts and that made it so it was easier to comprehend, but also made it so that you didn't get all of the contents of the course just from the lectures. But the main theme was the uh, material flow analysis and how much materials flow into a city and out of it. And uh, to combine this with a life cycle analysis that gives a gives a me measurable value uh, on, of impact on the environment per product or per kilogram in this case. Well, I think I can continue doing this for some weeks. I have a lot to, of courses to go through. And uh, if you are interested in how I shorten them down, I can make a video of that too. Well, I hope this inspired you to try to get some lectures from your university or other place that has good lectures at hand and we can really use this as a benefit from the corona pandemic and I think that's a positive thing among all the bad and I love that. Well, that's all for me. Bye.